Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be working my craft journal drawing with scribble faces, a uh, scribble stick, sorry, <laughs> we're going to be drawing faces using scribble sticks. So I'm just starting out with a pencil and really lightly drawing in a face shape and I'm actually putting in ears for a change, which I don't very often. Um, I have roughly drawn out where about my eyes and so on will sit. Now I was a bit cheeky with this. Um, if you are looking at drawing faces there's lots of face mapping videos on online you can use but basically if you draw out the sort of oval shape of your face draw the face in half both ways and then draw in a quarter line below the half line and then an eighth line. So your eyes sit on the half line, your nose sits on the quarter line and your lips sit on the eighth line. Um, you've actually got the rest of the half of your head is your forehead and your hair. So your face is actually much lower down than we expect. The top of your ears actually sits at the top of your eyes, so the half line, and your um, the bottom of your ear sits at the quarter line. So your, your ears are sort of a quarter in length, sitting at the top of the eyes down to the bottom. And if you don't believe me, feel from the top of your ears around and you'll find your eyes. So um, it's a bit tricky really when you think we, we don't believe our own, own proportions till we start feeling around on my face and I'll have a laugh because while I was explaining that to you I was actually feeling round and I'd be very interested to see how many of you felt when I was describing it um, on screen so you can let me know in the comments below. So I am using my scribble sticks to colour this in. Now I don't use my scribble sticks very often, I certainly don't use them in this way. So it was a really interesting process for me to use. But I really loved it and I've actually gone on to do this quite a number of places afterwards. The pigment and the, the colour that I got from doing this was really, really interesting. The thing I suppose I really like about it is because these are colours I use regularly on acrylic paints. Um, because they're, they, they match up with them. So I know what colours go together. So I actually only really need to think about how I was applying them to the, the page. Because I recently have been doing a lot of stuff with colour pencils or being a bit more scribbly in the way that I work, this bit wasn't altogether daunting for me either, which I found was really interesting. And it goes back to the old adage I use quite regularly, practice makes progress. The more you do it, the more free I suppose you become with it, the more you're willing to have a go, the more you're willing to fail, the more you're willing to use different colours. For example, that heather, that pale purple colour, it's not one I use very often. It's certainly not one I use very often, my scribble sticks. So the fact that I just picked that up and chucked it in to use as a bit of a blending colour was really interesting. Um, you'll notice my face, apart from the colours I've used to shade, is quite odd and it will continue to look odd until I finish off the eyes. So some people choose to do the eyes first to make it as a bit of a focus on the page. Um, until we sort of put the pupils and our catchalls in our, our eyes, they don't kind of look realistic. So it's really interesting how our brain starts to interpret images. So hopefully this looks now a little bit more human to you than it did previously. Um, I know that one of my eyes is bigger than the other. You know, these things happen. It's never going to be perfect. <laughs> she just turned her face a little bit, I think. I'm also not brilliant at doing um, hair. I have been practicing doing that, but at the moment for me, and particularly for this piece, I was focusing on trying to draw a face, trying to shade a face, trying to do something different by you know drawing in ears. I've never really done that before, so that was a bit interesting for me as well. Um, and using scribble sticks, again, something new. I did know that um, obviously, um, scribble sticks are a water um, reactive product so I knew by active I could activate it using gesso so I did that for the background I started off with quite a dark color this is a night and blended it off a little bit I've also decided I would blend a little bit on my page using my gesso just to blend it together and when I sort of got up to the top I thought oh well, that's a, actually a really good idea just to finish off my page so it sort of can blend out into the, the light of the gesso that I don't necessarily need to use um, 
uh, need to put in hair, so to speak. It does look a little bit like a cone head at the moment, but that's okay. Um, I sort of come back in and, and fix that in, in a little while. Um, these, these things are a work in progress. I did um, come in and use my black Stabilo or pencil to put a little bit more detail in with um, sort of shading round face, very thick eyebrows. Um, uh, putting and really putting some detail into the, the pupils um, and so on. I think I actually ended up putting in some eyelashes, I'm not 100% sure. The reason I did use my Stabilo Oil Pencil, one, because I'm comfortable with using it, but two, I can sharpen it into a really fine point. Now, I do know that you can sharpen your scribble sticks um, if you choose to do that. I've just never been able to get them down to a really fine point like I can with my Stabilo Oil Pencil, so um, that's why I chose to go back to that. When I put in my recent order um, for my Stabilo All Pencils um, online recently, I also ended up getting a whole heap in different colours. So I've got the blue, white, green, orange, yellow, red and so on. So occasionally I will pick them up and use those um, as I was colouring in here. You can sort of see me putting it into the eye and again for the same reasons as I used the black one, just I can get it into a slightly sharper point so I could, um, you know, be a little bit more on point with it. I decided I was going to put a few earrings in my lady, so I again drew those in with pencil. So I really am just playing around and I was having so much fun. I actually really enjoyed using these this product um, in this in this way. Again, it's I don't they're not ones I pick up to draw with very often. So it was actually really fun doing that. I decided to get rid of the cone head a little bit by whiting out that top right hand corner because I thought that would be a good place to put a quote in. So it looked like she sort of melted into the background and I've got the quote there to sort of finish off my page. It was a bit of a happy medium for me. It meant I didn't have to um, worry about hair um, but I had a blank enough space that um, I could write my quote. So I'm just thinking, what's that word? But I think it's openings. My eyes just really close to my N and makes it look like a Y, uh, an M, sorry. <laughs> So again, just writing with my Stabilo Oil Pencil, you can see the detail and the texture and the scribble in the background. Doing this piece actually inspired me to, I really loved it um, and I wanted to do a larger piece for my classroom. Um, so I do have a video of me painting a really large canvas um, using similar techniques I've done in this face. So I hope you have a go at using a different drawing medium. If you didn't have scribble sticks, use colour pencil, use crayons, use neon crayons, um, use your Crayola crayons if you wanted to. Just try drawing with something different and have a go. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.